Gatsby, we're gonna do a haunted house for you today. This year we're gonna do a Stranger Things themed haunted house, but first we gotta go to the dollar store to pick up more supplies for the haunted house. What will it be like this year? Let's see how much stuff we can get for a dollar. Let's check out what they have. Bat skeletons, spiders. Not too much this year, huh? Ooh, I like these with the eyeballs. Smash tube? What is that for? We gotta look inside the boxes. Everything's still in boxes here. Skeletons here too. Okay, I picked up $21 stuff. I might have to go to another dollar store now. Dollar tree number two. Everything's a dollar at this dollar tree too. What? <laughs> Not too much left here. This is about all they have left here. Maybe I'll get some black lights this time. I need to get some more of these. Everything's gone already. That can make it look like the upside down. I managed to fill an entire basket with more stuff. Hey, are you gonna be brave enough to go through the haunted house, Gatsby? We gotta set it all up. Let's do it! Gatsby, we built the Stranger Things maze for you. Are you ready to go inside? So you're gonna go into the upside down. Remember, the orange one is the entrance and this black one is the exit, okay? Are you ready to go? Okay. The magnets, they're falling down. What's going on? That's the board from the Stranger Things. See Gatsby? <laughs> What's going on? Come on! It's the rats with the fertilizer! Oh no! We gotta watch out! Oh my gosh, Gatsby, it's the portal to the upside down! Do you dare go inside? And now it's time for us to clean. <laughs> Everybody, first we gotta go and grab Gatsby's raw food. We made it. It's for you, Gatsby. I got all your food, Gatsby. We ended up getting more because they had buy three get one free. Think of it like frozen hamburger patties. It's kind of like that. All of Gatsby's frozen raw dog food. See complete and balanced raw diet. So he gets raw food for breakfast. And speaking of breakfast, 
we're gonna be attempting to make a souffle omelet. I made those souffle pancakes a few months ago. Those were super hard. Apparently the souffle omelet should be a lot easier to do, hopefully. I saw this online and I was like, this looks pretty good. I wanna try it out. Just gonna be a simple omelet with chives and cheddar cheese. And I'm gonna have a side of bacon. Let's get out the balls. Organic eggs. We're gonna use three eggs. You can't have any egg yolks and egg whites. Absolutely none. Check out that egg yolk. Okay, there it goes. Nothing other than egg whites. Egg yolk number three. Big whisk for the egg whites, small one for the egg yolk. So we're just gonna do the egg yolk one really fast. Okay. Alright, so when you whisk something, you're actually incorporating air. And what we're trying to do here is to whip it to stiff peaks. It'll become basically kind of like whipped cream with tons of little soap stud bubbles that you do not want to pop. Incorporating tons of little bubbles. As you can see, it's getting more bubbly. You just keep doing this. This is still too soft. See, when you go like this, nothing sticks on. It's there, see? It's standing up, it's not falling off. Okay, so now we want to rejoin the egg whites with the egg yolks without popping all the tiny little bubbles that we have over here. We just add a little bit to the egg yolk, kind of incorporate it a little bit. Incorporate it. And we fold it in. You don't want to pop the bubbles, that's the most important thing. Because we're basically going to be cooking with soap suds. And that's how you get it so fluffy and airy. We're using a non-stick pan over here. We're going to heat it up to medium, medium high heat. While we wait for that to heat up, we're going to make the bacon. Cover with a paper towel. 70%. Start. It's so fluffy that it doesn't want to spread out by itself. I think the bacon's done. I'm gonna take that out. All right, I think we're gonna salt and pepper the eggs. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is add our cheese, cut some chives over it. There we go. Flap. Oh, that is one fluffy omelet. It smells kind of like pancakes. Look at that, ooh. Okay, and there we go. A souffle omelet with bacon. Oh my gosh, it's so spongy. It's like a sponge. Mmm. Wow, the eggs taste so different. It's like eating a spongy egg. Next time, I would probably wouldn't salt it at all because the cheese is like salty enough. The outside is nice and like firm and the inside tastes like you're eating a cloud. I just got a new art piece in. You know, kind of like my aquarium. Wow, you're so tall, Gatsby. <laughs> wow. I'm getting ready to head off to the gym. Today is mostly back day. Gotta go to those laps. I'll see you guys at the gym. Okay, I'm gonna head over to Target really fast because I do have to grab a few things. I wanted to try out this pumpkin drink that I saw because it's pumpkin time. Gotta go to the Halloween section. Oh, these skeletons are so expensive. $45. Pumpkin spice latte. I've never had this before to be totally honest. My favorite candy, gotta be Sour Patch Kids. It'd be like all the Avengers here. Black Panther, I need that. Oh, a puffer fish. Ouch, nobody wanted Kira. She's on clearance. Oh my gosh, they have a mirror of Arisen. Who's gonna buy that? Oh my gosh, Ryan's Toys Review is on milk now. Okay, we're gonna need to get some milk. That, what is that supposed to be? They have these everywhere. Fine, I'll try one. We just got home. Let's try making this pumpkin drink. A warm, comforting drink. Tastes like pumpkin pie in a mug. And see how it compares to a pumpkin spice latte, which I've never had before. I'm just gonna heat up some milk. It tastes good, I guess. I don't, is there pumpkin in this? I wonder. Reduced fat milk, brewed Starbucks, Espresso coffee. There is no pumpkin in this. They lie. It's just the pumpkin spices. It's not bad. I, I wasn't expecting it to even be um, 
coffee. It doesn't taste like pumpkin. It just tastes like spices and it tastes like fall. I, I want like actual pumpkin. We're just gonna end up blending everything. So we're gonna do a quarter cup of pumpkin. There we go. Add our vanilla extract, half a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice, tablespoon of sugar, and our heated milk. Take the top off. We want the steam to escape, but you're gonna just put like a paper towel over it to make sure it doesn't splatter. There we go. <laughs> smells so good. I'm just gonna use some of this. We'll dust it off with some cinnamon. Oh my gosh, that looks so delicious. That tastes so good. <laughs> This is basically a recipe for pumpkin pie filling, so it, it does taste like pumpkin pie. And also way better than Starbucks pumpkin spice latte, which has no pumpkin in it. That sploot is on point! <laughs> He's like, um, am I gonna get it? Mm. So I've been working on a whole ton of things for our Christmas release, including the calendar, along with a lot of other surprises that I will be releasing and announcing very soon. I've got a lot of goodies for you. Other than the calendar, I thought I would reveal to you guys a few more things that we'll be releasing coming very soon. <laughs> it's been a lot of work. I'm really hoping that you guys like it too. <gasps> Corgi on fleek, ugly Christmas sweaters. Ooh, those look awesome. So I've been working on that along with the calendars. And speaking of calendars, this calendar is so good. I. I think it's like the best calendar ever, quirky or otherwise. It's gonna be so epic. So in the last vlog, I talked to you guys about the planning process and I thought today I would show you some behind the scenes footage of what happened when it came to actually taking all of these photos. It was mainly done over two days. I thought I would play for you the footage while I set up the haunted house. So please enjoy and we'll see you guys afterwards. Good morning everybody, it's like 6 a.m. The sun has not risen yet. Today is our first day of the photo shoot. It's gonna be a super long day. We have nine pictures planned to be taken today. Are you ready to do the photo shoot? Got everything packed here. Better get going. We made it to Corgi Community College. <laughs> it's right over here, Gatsby. This is where we're gonna do it, in this hallway here. So we are running through Stanford right now just to get Gatsby nice and exercise. Okay, we got the shots done over here, Gatsby. The sun's coming in. We gotta move on to the next shot here. Shot number two. Remember in Shrek, when Donkey um, enters far, far away, he's like this. Wow! We're leaving the campus. Okay. Off to the next location. We're here at the park and they're doing like a marathon here. Got all of your donut toys here. That's perfect, that's perfect. We just completed Gatsby's raining donut shot. We made it back home, Gatsby. Yeah. This is so hard to <laughs> not. Like uh, I'm excited to see what that looks like. You did a good job, Gatsby. You've been doing really good. Who's that, Tembi? It's Gatsby! Hello! Kiss, kiss, kiss! We're on Google's campus. Look, there's a Google sign there. Look at the T-Rex here. We're looking for a spot where we can do our selfie shot. Okay, we found some Google umbrellas here. We're gonna try to take pictures of you here. My friend, it's here. He's here. We got Jack here. Good job, Tembi. We did it. Okay, we're heading off to drop off Tembi. We're gonna pick her up later for another shot. Okay, we made it back home. <laughs> We have all this fruit for guests. We think we got star fruit, rambutan, we have dragon fruit here. <laughs> He's like hiding. We're luring up the dog, the corgi out of the hole. There he goes. Good job, buddy. Hey, Tembe. She's back. We got both corgis. We're gonna do an urban shot this time, so we're gonna look for a spot. Again, walk again. Okay, we're here in the middle of the sidewalk. Over here. That's the camera. There's a heart on it. It's gonna cause hearts to appear. 
we have this heart-shaped thing that changes the aperture so all of the lights will look heart-shaped. And take a look at the hearts. They look like hearts. Okay, we got it. I think that one actually turned out really well. Yeah? This is so busy right now. We're like doing this on a Saturday night in downtown. Bye, Tembi. Thank you. You're done with your photo shoot. Preparing Gatsby's next shot where he plays with his toys that come to life. We have one more shot for tonight. Okay, we got the lights set up. We did it, you guys. Look, there's snow on the ground. We did it. We completed the shot. Yeah, Gatsby, you did such a good job. Thus concludes day one. We got lots of the shots done. Right, all of the purple ones are done now. We broke our record for the longest shoot day. We have a little bit of a break before we go off and do our second day of shooting in Tahoe. It's almost all cleaned up, Gatsby. <laughs> Ooh. Look who it is. Who's that? Oh my gosh, is that him? Is that the guy? It's my food, I got it. Yes, thank you, sir. What are you gonna do for Halloween? Oh, oh, Peppa Pig? Oh, Peppa Pig, there you go, not Peppa Pig. I heard Peppa Pig's like six feet tall. Did you oh, hear really? about that? No. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Peppa Pig is seven feet one inches. <laughs> wow. <laughs> taller than Shaq, right? Yeah. So if you count the ears, yeah. Uh, right. We'll see ya. Bye. <laughs> Got everything back in the boxes. Are you the most comfortable corgi ever? Yeah? So that's gonna do it for our vlog for today. Thank you so much. I've been so busy with all of the new merch and everything that's gonna be coming out very soon. We have a lot more surprises coming up. I'm so excited for the calendar. It's gonna look so good. A lot of the Gatsby, the Japanese Gatsby t-shirts are already all sold out. And um, I'm just warning you guys that that one is not going to be restocked for Christmas time. So if you want to get a specific color, make sure you grab it soon because a lot of the colors are already all sold out. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Thank you so much for watching again. Good night. Hey Gatsby, check out this awesome fan. So this happened the other day. I was happily walking Gatsby during our normal walks in the afternoon.